Hi, welcome to my vlog if you're new and welcome back if you have been here before. I am currently 37 weeks pregnant. I'm just exhausted even saying it. Um, and I'm actually packing my uh, hospital bag. So I thought I would show you what's in it. Um, this is our third time going to the hospital for this, for not for this baby, but for our birth. Um, with Lux, I stayed overnight. She was my first. I had an epidural with her with Poppy. I did not stay overnight with her. Um, I had an unmedicated birth, which is what I wanted, and hopefully I can have for this little guy, but I have no idea how it's gonna go. So I am prepared to stay overnight if I have to, and prepared hopefully for a C-section. I'm not really sure what I would need from it, but um, I have some really comfy, soft clothes that I love wearing, so I know I will be comfy in them. So I'm gonna pack everything up show you what I have for baby boy and show you what I have for myself and yeah hopefully I am prepared <laughs> hopefully I, everything goes as well as it did with Poppy but um we'll see um we're excited to meet him um, my midwife thinks I'm gonna have him next week because I had Poppy at 38 weeks and I had po uh, Lux at 39 so um really looking forward to meeting him so for him well first of all I'll talk about my bag this is the Jujube I want to say Weekender. I'm not sure. BFF. It's a GGB bag. I'll have this linked below. I had this for the um, the girls when I had. I got it for when I got had Poppy, um, and it's just like massive. It's like really big. It's like just a really good travel bag. See, sorry, the the fabric pattern is a little bit like doing that moire um, shake up, but it's really big. Um, it has really nice inside pockets. You can see. I think they still sell this color or something similar. It was just on their site the other day, but it's really lovely. I use it for traveling all the time right now, not just as a baby bag. Um, and then yeah, the gussets just make it open up real wide so you can see everything so Wes can find something that I'm asking him for. So in it already, I have some um, newborn diapers. These are Huggies. They have the ones with the light, the like yellow stripe on it. So you can tell if they've peed or pooed. Um, Last time we were at the hospital with Lux, we didn't bring diapers because we thought that's something that they supplied and then we got yelled at. <laughs> Not yelled at, but they told us we should supply that, so um, we are this time. And then I have some extra pads for me, um, but I will get to my stuff in just a minute. So for baby boy, I have a, a swaddle blanket. I'm just using this as a blanket. I did use it to swaddle the girls, which didn't really work and so I assumed they didn't like swaddling but I've been taking this course called Taking Care of Babies and she has taught me a lot about swaddling and the proper way to do it and to get swaddles that are specific for swaddling um, and one of the reasons that caught my attention was because these blankets don't stay tight enough with like velcro or like a zipper so she has a couple recommendations I'll put below. One of them has a zipper. One of them is like a blanket with a um, Velcro. But this one is the, the Swaddle Me is the most affordable version. But she says these guys, these beautiful muslin ones that we we all love um, and are pretty versatile, um, just become loose. And because they're so much traveling, they could possibly go over the baby's mouth. And so I'm like, okay, not going to use that as a swaddle. And we will see if we can... Um, get him to like swaddling because my girls never really liked it but apparently it helps him sleep better so I'm trying to have a um trying to make a better effort for sleep this time we'll see if I can do it so the swaddle me ones that we got um are from Amazon so I'll have the link below for you but they come in a pack of three I'm only going to take one um the pack of three that we got this one has like footballs on it um this is a light blue and then this is stars so we're not really sports fans but um, that's like a non-offensive pretty blue and it's an okay um, pattern so um, but I wanted a couple just in case like they split up on themselves and they poop everywhere so um, I'm gonna de definitely take this star one which I think is really beautiful so this just like you can see how it has these little ears and the velcro to wrap them up in so that's just an extra swaddle if we happen to stay there for a little bit um, and then I have these two little outfits. So this is gonna be his main outfit. It's like this navy, main coming home outfit. It's just like a sweet little navy sleeper from Old Navy, yeah. And then I have a little striped hat for him. So cute, I'm so excited. And then like little stars and everything will work out. And so I have an extra hat for him. 
and then I have a white onesie um, because that came in a pack and just in case for some reason it's a girl and they made a mistake twice telling us <laughs> on the ultrasound you never know right so another thing that I'm bringing is a soother um, I was really against soothers when I had Lux, even though I, it was something that we did try just in case it helped calm her, and I thought it was just for calming her. But again, in this Taking Care of Babies course, they talk about how the sucking can help with their endorphins and this help them with like stay calm and relax them. So um, I'm definitely going to try that. This is a natural rubber pacifier, it's BPA3, and it's, called, it's from the Sweetie brand. I'll have this link below. I think my husband got this from wall.ca so um, to get it ready you're supposed to boil it for a couple minutes um, according to the direction so we did that and so now I have that in this nice little case for him um, yeah the extra hats put that back in if we do happen to stay overnight I have this little sound machine for him and for us the hospital makes a lot of sounds um, I really love a low dull um, sound machine sound uh, my husband has always listened to a fan when we sleep so um, i want to get the baby to get used to this this is what the girls listen to and it's just really calming it's like a really low sound and um yeah i love it i have to charge that guy um it's called the rome sound machine if you can see that um i bet i'll have that link below and then i have um want a car seat cover but that also doubles as a nursing thing so just in case I just want a little bit of privacy um, I can definitely use that this comes in a pack of two this is a black and white stripe and then there's like one that has like the other part is like gray and white so uh, I really like these for the girls um, I have some very feminine ones I think I got rid of them I don't think I have them anymore um, so that's what I have for baby boy so for me I have some slide sandals these are just some old ones for um, being in the, what's it called, room in. And then I have some socks. So you can do, some people say that they prefer slippers. I don't like any sort of indoor shoe in a hospital. And then if there's any sort of like um, possibility of my water breaking all over <laughs> these shoes, I would want something that's pretty easy to wipe off. Sorry, that's really graphic, but that's just my thought pattern for that. So. Um, in case I get cold, I have some socks here um, for underwear and bras. For nursing bras, I just like something like stretchy, just basically like a sports bra. This is, I think, Fruit of the Loom, and it's cotton. The straps are thin, so they don't really interfere with um, my any out, like outfit. I don't really like a big, thick um, strap. It depends, I guess, on your support, but um, the support that you need. But this one works for me. I got you get these in a pack. Two, they're really easy, really affordable. I really like cotton because you get so hot breastfeeding. And so I have a couple of those in a bunch of different colors. I think I'm wearing the pink one right now, yep. And then I have some underwear from Aerie. So let me see, I have some that are under my belly, some that are short, and then some that are high-waisted. I'll have those linked below because I don't really, <laughs> I feel really funny showing you my underwear, so I'll have those linked below. But I have some that are various um, heights depending on what happens so I think with a c-section you should have something below the scar or below the surgery um, so those are like my original ones and then I have some high-waisted ones just to see if I'm comfortable I'm obviously gonna have one of those really attractive adult diapers um, in there too so but those are just in case I have a c-section I have to stay a couple days I'm ready um, for pajamas I have my Levisa nightgown from Joan it's like my favorite thing ever I love this guy it is very light um, and see-through you can see it I tried it on and I got it in my last vlog when I was in Buffalo and I absolutely love it I wear it almost every night um, so I'm gonna probably like I have that here to show you but I'm gonna probably wear it tonight um, and then I'll I have some leggings here just in case I get cold and a sweater so one of my going home outfits is this top the sia but in this print this is the rose top but i thought i would show you this print it's the um petite jardin print so it has like this really pink and blue and red colors in it and then two if i get cold i'm bringing my pink doan sweater which i love so much i put away all my sweaters except for this one i have this in brown and then i have another doan sweater so those ones are my summer sweaters just in case i get cold so that's a nice coming home outfit 
Um, and then I also have um, this made well button down shirt that I got in New York. So this is nice. This goes over my bump really nicely. It's just like a nice cotton shirt. It's like rainbowy, so it's like a nice color. Um, and I just enjoy wearing it in general. And then for pants, I got these leggings from Target, which are um, the Stars Above brand. I've never really heard of them. We don't have Target in Canada, so I'm not really familiar with all the brands. But these are so soft and they're high-waisted. You can see where the waist is on this. And they're size small. And they're very stretchy and they fit so I really like them I'll have those linked below I have my Madewell pants um, that culottes crop culottes that I talk about all the time so I'm gonna wear those and actually I'm basically right what I'm wearing right now is basically my going home outfit but in a different color <laughs> so I'm gonna wear the sea top in this or the rate or this one I guess it really depends on what's clean at the time when I go into labor and I'm also wearing my other Madewell culotte so love them so much so that's already and then i have my jersey black jersey robe which i'll show you along with some of my postpartum outfits so i'm going to show you some of my postpartum outfits not today i have to i have a bunch of stuff to do i'm looking at my hand like i have a watch or something but i have a bunch of things to do so i'm not going to show you that today but um i thought i would show you what i'm wearing and um what i'm bringing mostly oh this is getting full and so just to show you how much stuff this is you can see that it is almost full but this is a really nice bag for this for all of this stuff i absolutely love it okay and then i have like a makeup bag full of things that i think i would need for overnight so this is kind of just overnight things in general i have my i have a new toothbrush from the dentist and i have some toothpaste i have my deodorant I have some perineal spray, so it's a cool perineal mist for pregnancy and postpartum. So that's just to spray underneath. They, they will give me like a little squirt bottle to clean everything, um, and it's like the best squirt bottle ever. So <laughs> such a funny thing to love that, but it definitely makes a difference. So the hospital gives me that because it's a very specific thing. And then um, I'm also going to bring my phone charger and phone, this camera, just in case I can catch some time to vlog this because I would love to catch a little bit on film, nothing like really um, bottom. I'm not gonna film the bottom part of me, <laughs> but just like moments and part of the hospital and just kind of waiting, I wanted to film that. So we'll see if I can do that. So I'm gonna bring my camera and so for some nice photos. And then um, to wash my face, I, I have my washcloth and then I have my Norwex makeup remover which I love this so much so it really depends like right now I'm wearing makeup so if I go into labor right now I'm gonna want to take my makeup off if I'm staying overnight or if I just need um, to feel refreshed and clean so I have both of those I have nursing pads even though I don't think I'll need them because my milk won't come in but if I again if I'm there for a day or two it might come in so I have these these are massive they're reusable um, and they're bamboo um, which I loved and which I used for both girls. I don't like using the disposable ones because I find them very, very itchy. So if you are the same way, I'll have these linked below so you can check those out. I have some hair elastics and hair clip. Um, I have nipple butter, lip balm, um, and then a cleanser, lotion, Kiehl's deep moisture balm for my face just in case I'm really dry there. My, what happens usually after I give birth is my blood vessels all just pop and I'm just like, I'm like, I'm just this visual mess. I'm like, it's a mess everywhere, but um, I just need some extra skincare. And then I have this, <laughs> this is probably midnight recovery eye. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna have the time to put this underneath my eye. Um, this is a gentle hair and body wash for baby, just in case we um, bathe him there. And then this is a, another cream for me. So, and then I have some um, always overnight pads um, just in case uh, I need them. So that is all that I'm packing. I think it makes me feel better to feel this. I'm, I've been really like nervous the past couple days because I'm just like remembering how much it's going, like how hard it is. My friend just had her baby and I'm like, oh gosh, you know, you remember the labor and I'm just trying to stay positive and think of the baby. But I also have like, 
I'm also doing this course, it's like, your baby, you will sleep again. And it's just like, oh, I remember just not sleeping. So I'm trying to stay positive, And I think part of that is being prepared. So I'm just, because usually what I do is I just avoid um, thinking about things and just try and stay busy in other ways. But if you stay busy in other ways, you're just not prepared. <laughs> so I'm trying to stay prepared and positive. And um, hopefully that'll be good. And then, yeah, next, next um, part of this a vlog, I will show you um, what I have planned for postpartum outfits i'm really excited about that because they're all mostly they're mostly not maternity i think they're almost all not maternity i have some maternity jeans in there um but that's pretty much it i'm really happy with how um my pregnancy wardrobe has gone anyway all right i'll see you um in the next part hi the last time i left you was two days ago and i showed you what was in my um baby bag hospital bag still pregnant this is normal. I'm 37 weeks tomorrow, so I'm full term. So that means like you're like safe to have the baby. The baby is technically fully grown, ready to come out when they are. So um, the other, one thing I wanted to show you was this robe that is... <clears throat> I have toothpaste on. <laughs> um, but this is one of my favorite items to wear right now. It's just really comfortable. This is a size small. Yeah. So I'll show you, I'll give you a better look of this jersey robe, which I highly recommend. Um, I'm sure there's lots of similar ones. Wes got this for me a couple years ago. So if I can find this exact one, I will let you know. But otherwise, I will link below something similar. This is the robe. This is the brand Alexandra Del Rosa. I'm not sure. I've, I've never heard of it. But um, I just had certain requirements for a robe that I wanted. I forget what this was for. Maybe it's for Mother's Day, but something that I asked Wes for. So I wanted something really long jersey which is light had pockets so this has pockets on the inside and that was it basically just nice and light you can see that it's see-through so it's nice for um i don't i love wearing it for right now so i love wearing it for spring um right after my baths and yeah i just absolutely love this so i'll link that below um, i'm definitely going to take that to the hospital with me just in case i have to stay overnight but otherwise i wanted to show you um a couple other things so today I'm going to show you like all of my postpartum outfits. So this is something I've been wearing a lot lately. And this is my Doan Sia top. And I wore this yesterday, all day yesterday. And then I went and ordered the other color because I was just so obsessed with it. It's so comfortable. And I think it's really flattering untucked. I usually like to tuck my um, clothing in to like high-waisted jeans, which I obviously can't do now. But I really love this. These are my Madewell um cropped pants they have like just like a very normal name and they have a drawstring right here so everything from this point of view is really cute like i look really normal but then i turn like i turn a little mushroomy <laughs> when i go from the side but um this is like the start of a formula if you a really easy formula for getting dressed if you are at the end of your pregnancy or if you have like meetings and you're still working like right after so it's just nice to have like a really breezy top that's pretty this is really kid friendly too because it has uh, a floral print i wore this all day yesterday with my kids and you can't see any sort of mark on it it's 100 percent cotton so it's really lovely for um summer and i just think it's really flattering i think you can throw a blazer over top of it you can wear it with jeans i have a whole pile of um bottoms that i'm going to show you for postpartum these are my tops for postpartum and i have like the nightgown underneath and then dresses i'm thinking of for postpartum so but this is one outfit i'm really loving right now for the end of pregnancy and i will definitely love for um the beginning of postpartum after baby because it has a really stretchy neckline for um breastfeeding you can go underneath because it's like very voluminous um i don't think it'll be too hot but other again you can just pull this down and it's just really comfy and it's not maternity. So it's just going to, and this is an elastic waist, so it's just going to like um, deflate <laughs> along with my body when my body decides to go back down. Um, but it's just really comfortable and easy and I just feel good in it instead of like, I'm like normal because I don't usually like wearing sweatpants or anything, but these don't feel like them. These feel, they don't feel sloppy to me. So I really like them. And then I have some shoes these are my slip-on ones from target that i've had for like three years these ones i got from urban outfitters they're vagabond and i love them 
but I will see what happens. If, if, it's, if I have a C-section, it's only going to be slip-on shoes. But yeah, that's what those look like. Target still sells these. They're really comfortable. They had a bunch of colors last time I was there. So I highly recommend this as a nice postpartum outfit. Oh, and the two tops behind me are postpartum too. So this is the Tangelo, the Doan Tangelo top. It's beautiful. Maybe I'll try this on for you too. And then this is the rose, which is a little, it tapers at the waist. So it's not going to be, it'll probably take me a month or a month and a half to fit into it. So maybe end of summer, hopefully we'll see when I have this baby. But I absolutely love that top. I have three um, rose tops in different prints. And yeah, so let me just show you the rest of what I have in mind for um, baby. This is the Dawn dress you saw in my last vlog, and I absolutely love it. It has a snap right here. It's a crisscross front. The Lincoln style has this. This is the Dawn, and then they're coming out with a new one, I think, Dahlia? Delilah? Delilah. It has long sleeves, and it has the same front. And then I feel like it's Dahlia that they're coming out with, which is like this dress, but with a puff sleeve, and it looks beautiful. So... Um, I would get my hands on that. It has a drawstring waist, so this will be easy to breastfeed in. And then, this dress is from Koss, and it's one of my favorite, but I absolutely love this dress. It's so easy. It's 100% cotton. It's like a poplin cotton, so you can, you can like, hear it. It makes a sound. Um, but it's, again, a crossover. It's really comfy, elastic sleeves, and it uh, hits me at the knee, which I find very comfortable. I can sit down on the floor with my girls, and I'm completely comfortable, completely covered up. Um, this is the Bijou. So this is the Bijou from Doan. Very, this is a size small, so this is my pre-pregnancy size. And I love it. It's very stretchy, so I can breastfeed in it very easily. It's very, very pretty. Very soft. Um, very just like, I don't know, comfortable, summer. Like, it's just, it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. This is another jumpsuit from Koss. And this is really, really comfortable. So this has like that wide culotte, wide leg bottom. And I got it hemmed like an inch. And I look like a big ball in it right now, but I know after baby, it's gonna be really nice. And it has these, this is not elastic, this strap. It looks like elastic, but the fabric moves with it. So it's like a solid item. So if something pulls on you, it's not gonna come all down, but this is elastic. So this is really nice. This is the Raven dress. This isn't actually postpartum. So this is one of those dresses. And along with this one, the Adobe, which is from their new um, collection, which I have deemed I need space, time away from my family. I need to go to a private area to lift the entire skirt up so I can <laughs> breastfeed that way. So it's like my privacy dresses where it's just, I feel overwhelmed one day and I just need space so I'll just go and nurse in private so I think those will be perfect for that and I just they're like light and summery and beautiful um so I really love them and then these ones are one of my older dresses from Doan so this is the carnation dress and it has buttons right here which are not really easy to do up um they're a little bit hard but it's like a really lovely fabric for summer uh, I can nurse in it and then the same goes with the Primrose, which is absolutely beautiful. So I love this dress so much. It's one of my favorites, and I'm so excited to wear it. I got one when I was pregnant, so I haven't seen it on me normally. This is a size medium. This is bigger than I usually wear it doing, but the sleeves are really tight. So that's why I went up, and I know it's going to be really lovely for um, postpartum. So these are all of my like one-piece outfits that I can wear all summer long. So basically like my summer capsule. Well, I feel like I just talked for like 10 minutes straight. <laughs> sorry, I'm like so tired and I'm sorry if I'm breathing heavily, but like this is my third trimester and Wes says I just snore like crazy. <laughs> so um, sorry, there's a baby in my lungs, but um, I'll try on some of these outfits just to show you what I had in mind and what works right now for pregnancy. And then these are the shorts with the Tangelo top from Dawn. So these are Ritzia shorts. Um, this is really nice and light. You can see how that this top is a little bit see-through, but I don't really mind. It's going to be beautiful and perfect for um, summer. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a really good postpartum outfit. I think I have elastic. This is a size large, so it fits really nicely. <laughs> um, and it's like a little tight on my leg right now just because it's just pulling up and everywhere that it's not made to because it's not maternity. 
but I know it's gonna work really, really well for after baby, after pregnancy. But yeah, love these, love this top. The top is a nice length, so this would go well with um, jeans too. Maybe I'll try that on for you, just so you can see. But cute, cute, cute. And this is what it looks like, just with jeans. So again, if you just um, switch out jeans for like dress pants, like maternity ones, um, this will work really well for that. It's still a little short, so it's you definitely need something that's high, like that will go over your bump. Um, I'm 5'3", just for reference. But it's a pretty long top, considering, so I really love it. I think this is really lovely. Um, a really lovely shirt, and I think it could definitely work for work. Um, especially for like somewhere casual it is sheer but i think you can dress it up really easily so um these are my target sandals i was talking to you about earlier and yeah the top shop i want to say jamie jeans but i'm not sure i'll definitely have them linked below but this is really comfortable and airy and cute and then this is the rose bay so if you can get your hands on this this is one of my favorite tops very very see-through um but i love i love a sheer top i don't think that's a problem as long as you wear the right underwear underneath um, but the length is nice. It's going to go nice with, I wore it last year with white culottes tucked in. It looked so cute. So I miss, I miss tucking this shirt in, but it's really airy. Um, it'll be good for baby too. So really cute, really cute. And then this is my Madewell top that I got in New York. It has this really pretty, um, rainbow embroidery. Um, it's really nice and easy. The only thing that bugs me about it is that it splits a little bit at the bottom, but again, it's because I'm so pregnant, <laughs> 37 weeks officially tomorrow. Um, but this will be good for after baby. And if you have two sided tape, I feel like that would just fix that. You just put that there and you're done. So this is a really easy, comfy outfit. Again, it's cotton, so it's really comfy. Sorry, there we go. And yeah. Really nice, easy for nursing in, if you nurse or breastfeed. So comfy, comfy, comfy. And then this is the Mina. So this is probably one of the shorter tops that I'm showing you. So this is really good for first and second trimester um, because it's so pretty and has the pleating in it. So it looks really nice untucked. But otherwise, this is what it looks like with my Madewell pants. And then if you have any other like culottes that are like maternity wise, I think. This will be maternity friendly. I think this will be really nice. Love this top, actually. I got this when I was pregnant, so I haven't really, when I first found out I was pregnant, so I haven't really had a good um, good chance to wear it, a good chance to test it out. I was actually thinking of selling it, but then I'm like, nope, this is really beautiful. <laughs> Makes me want the cream one. So I'm going to enjoy wearing this um, after, after pregnancy. This is really pretty. It's really light, obviously, again. I like my sheer shirts. I usually would tuck it in. So you can kind of get some kind of idea of what it would look like tucked in just if you pose like this really quickly. But yeah, this is really beautiful. And yeah, buttons down for a baby. And then this is the Dylan and Nice. Gosh, I forgot how much I love this top. It's so pretty. Um, I love the embroidery. It is so lovely. And it's a nice length actually. So again, pretty see-through, but I don't mind. I usually tuck it in and wear a nude bra underneath, but <laughs> makes me want to find the orange version of this. I just like it so much. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Cute and breezy. So I think I'll end the vlog there. Um, yeah, those are some of the outfits I've planned. I'm really excited about all of those. This is, I think I showed you just all tops and bottoms. Every dress and everything else I've tried on in other videos I might do like um, a what still fits video and show everything at once. So I'll sh if I'm still pregnant in like a week. <laughs> so watch for that and I'll definitely show you how these look postpartum. Um, I hope you have a good day and I will see you next time.